Hello? Yo, Kevin Morans. Welcome to Moto Aftermath Yo, Show, going? bud. <laughs> uh, it's good to be back. Yeah, well, it's just you and me tonight, brother. I got uh, two sick co-hosts. They're being soft, apparently. So, yeah, so it's just us. So, anyway. <laughs> it's all good. Tell me about your San Diego round there, buddy. Oh, not too shabby. Uh, not great, but part of it. Uh, not a whole lot you can do when... You know, I just kind of goofed up a little bit, slid and hit neutral on the start of the LCQ. And then right around the first corner, uh, Justin Starling slid out right in front of me in the first rhythm section and shut it down for a double that I was already committed to. And we just kind of collided into each other, both went off track and uh, stalled out for a little bit and got back going and came back to ninth. So felt really good riding, but just unfortunate when your LCQ starts that way. Hmm. Yeah, that's frustrating. I I hate the fact I can't see. So like when I'm watching the LCQ with you in it, I just like all I can see is like what your name is doing on the board. And it's like, okay, looks like he's making up some time. We're going to make some moves. And then like nothing happens. It's like, okay, what's going on? I have no idea. And always looking in the background of the shot when they're doing the wide angle shots like, oh, am I can I see him somewhere? Is he is he doing something? But never never works never works so nope. yeah i know it's a little bit annoying but you know usually we're up front so we'll just have to do that next time yeah but. so what was what was the deal like did you like that inside gate a lot because the inside didn't seem to be really working there um from what i was seeing all day so were you seeing something um, different kind of uh kind of angled myself a little bit to try to skip the rut that's directly outside of the gate because the gate that I chose was not ideal, but it was on the inside. And I know like almost 100% I can get a jump just about on anybody in the LCQ. So I knew I was going to be good as long as I didn't, you know, wheelie or hit neutral. Well, I did both. So, (laughs) um, yeah, unfortunately it's just kind of the way it goes, but yeah, I just went inside because I lined up outside in the heat race Mm -hmm. and got a decent jump. wheelie again a little bit, to be honest though. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're on the outside, everybody pushes so wide. So I even knew if I could be top five going into the first corner that the, the people right in front of me would push wide and I'd be able to sneak down the inside. So yeah, the inside was just a lot safer route, no matter what, than being on the outside. Okay. All right. How were, uh, how were those whoops last night, man? Cause they didn't seem to break down like we saw in Oakland and form like the V, the V of death. They, uh, they yeah, seem to stay together pretty well. They stayed together, but they were still just big. Like, yeah. The last three rounds, ra- I mean, the only three rounds we've had, but the last three rounds have been large whoops or at least difficult whoops compared to what I've seen, I guess, in years past. Mm-hmm. Um, again, I've never raced any of the West Coast rounds, so this is all new to me. But yeah, dude, whoops are intense this year. So we'll see if that continues or if they knock it down a little bit. Well, you're not the only person I've heard say that. There's a lot of people saying, like, what the hell are we doing? These things are huge all year. So Yeah, dude. So that's it. at least we only have one set this week as opposed to multiple sets. What <laughs> it, no joke. What did you think of the track outside of that? Because a lot of 90s, um, I mean, it was kind of, I guess, chopped up a little bit. So what, it, what did yeah, you I think mean, outside you of it, that? You hit it right on the head, to be honest. It's kind of awkward, uh, really simple. Everybody's pretty much doing the same thing. Uh, nothing too crazy, pretty one line to an extent. Um, and yeah, just not having a bowl before the whoops or after the whoops is kind of unfortunate. Yeah. That turn after the whoops was super, super awkward. And I kind of, in practice, I pretty much call them like, if you can figure out how to nail that turn, that's, that's the winning combo right there. You can come yeah, off there, 100%. hit that, hit that flat corner perfect, and go. Which we saw in the 450 main with like Anderson, like he had figured it out how to kind of get to the inside and kind of push people out. He did it with Kenny. Um, he was doing it with a couple other guys, and it was working for him. And he was picking guys off and just going to the front. So, um, you uh, you had some had some bike issues this week. <laughs> you want to? Dude, it's wanna... been one thing after another. All but, right, like that's my biggest thing is. So obviously round one wild scenario would have never guessed that that would have happened in round one, but luckily walked away from it. So then I didn't ride that whole week because I was just trying to get my shoulder right. Mm -hmm. Um, So then went to Oakland and was preparing the bike and everything like that. And we raced 
and while racing pretty much we noticed what was going on with the frame so then we got through oakland because i was just kind of getting through with my whole shoulder situation didn't ride it all the week before so then after that i didn't ride it all last week because i was just trying to focus on getting my frame fixed and figuring that situation out while also letting my shoulder heal up so then coming into this weekend at least got the frame figured out and came into it and was feeling better and i probably rode the best that i've ridden this year yet uh, in the LCQ after getting back up and going and kind of picking my way through the field a little bit. Um, so this week, um, we're going to do a little bit more shoulder stuff. I think we're actually going to get some seat time in during the week. I'm going to try to see what I can do to get into press day. So this coming weekend should be it. Let's put it that way. Sweet. Now to tell everybody for anyone who, who wasn't following you on Instagram or whatever, tell, tell them what happened with your frame there, because that was, that yeah, was an interesting so scenario. It, yeah, at A1, um, I more or less clipped the double before the Supercross triple. It made my rear end go outside, and it caused my front end to knife very hard, which pitched me off the bike. Apparently, it pitched me off so hard, and it, it, it you know knifed so hard that it actually hit the bar stop. The triple clamps hit the bar stop and ripped the bar stop off the frame. So... Then I was put in a position where, since it was crash damage, it wasn't a manufacturer defect. There's nothing that really KTM could do about it. So then I was put in a situation where I couldn't get a replacement, and uh, I had to fix it, more or less. So, yeah, that was the whole situation with that, is trying to figure out who can weld a KTM frame uh, without having to completely frame the bike and that whole situation. So, yeah, it was quite a mess. Yeah, but you found somebody, so that's good, man. That's sweet. So. Yeah, exactly. That and yeah, so uh, Chuck Warren from Metal Tech, because he uh, he's like the guy out here. Apparently, he does a lot of the customization of uh, some of the factory frames and some of the other stuff for these uh, bigger teams. Mm -hmm. So he was the guy that he was the right guy for the job. Let's put it that way. Sweet, that's awesome. Um, now you said you were going to try to ride this week. Any idea where you're going to try to go or? Uh, no, it really just depends on what my situation comes down to, whether I can get into press day or not. Okay. Uh, hopefully I can finagle that, uh, cause that'll be a day of riding this week. So worst case scenario, if we don't even ride till press day, it's still going to be beneficial for us since we'll be riding the track that, uh, we'll be racing this weekend. But, um, I think we're going to try to ride Wednesday as well and we'll see how that turns out. Okay. Now, so. when you and I kind of talked, you said you had some fluid in your shoulder. Are you getting that, uh, you getting that removed or... What, or uh, just... I mean, it's just it's just kind of like it's just something that it's just like inflammation and whatnot. So you oh, know, okay. take some Advil and uh, ice up and just be smart with it is kind of the whole situation with that. I don't think it's anything specific like that. I need to get drained, okay. but yeah, it's just it's it's battered and bruised and just needs to be in chill mode to an extent. Yeah, or at least be smart with it. Hey, it could be worse, man. Could be AC. Could have a tweaked knee and a tweaked shoulder and just be fucked yeah. since, since Jump Street. So, um, oh, he has a tweaked knee too. Yeah, he tweaked it in practice. That's why I didn't ride last night. Because oh I guess my he, goodness. In oh, he did. oh, go ahead. It's from his knee, not his shoulder. I figured his shoulder was done for. No, in uh, so in practice they showed he came off the end of the whoops and it kind of pitched uh -huh. him uh, sideways, like to the right. And he just mm -hmm. like dabbed his knee, and then that was all she wrote in. I think it was Q two, and then uh, he went out there. Obviously, rode like pff, shit. I don't know, not even a lap of his heat, and pulled off, and that was it. Oh wow! And I was super pumped because he was on my fantasy team, and then I took him off in the last in the thirteenth hour, and I was like, hell yeah! Thank God I took him off. <laughs> So I'm waiting for the day I can put old Kevin Moran's on my fantasy team, bro. I need, yeah, I need no joke. I need some guarantee. Be yeah. So, um, any, so I've been getting hit up a lot. Any thoughts on you doing 250 East or we're, we're still strictly no, doing dude, 450. East, East is, East is going to be more stacked than ever. I wish I was in, if anything, I was, wish I was in 250 right now, but yeah. I don't have bikes in place and I don't have a, uh, I'm not just going to, cop out of what i came in expecting to do so yeah i just gotta step it up more or less and then yeah we'll stay 450 the whole time unless a fill-in ride comes about okay because i'm not gonna go buy 250s and get 250s built yeah to come into a pretty gnarly coast because yeah. like yeah that's what sucks right now is 250 coast right now is pretty weak on this side so yeah. it'd be nice to be in it right now but i mean i'm already committed to 450 so that's what we're sticking with dude i have people all the time 
I've had. Is he going to, like, he should switch and just do 250 West. And I'm like, he's missed the first three rounds. So what is he doing 250 West? Because he's going to get top fives maybe. Like, okay. Then everybody, oh, is he going to do 250 East? Well, I don't think so. Like, he's got 250, but I haven't heard that he's building that to race. So I don't think, plus that coast, as we just stated, stacked. And then I don't remember what the other. There's been all sorts of shit people have been texting me. I'm like, dude, he he's doing 450s. All right, this this is what he's gonna do. It's rough for everyone right now. I literally just said in my 450 breakdown, when you get down to the bottom here, you have Norin, Martin, Breeze, Hill, and you could swap them out for say you seven deuce deuce. I mean, Starling, A Ray, A Ray, Clayson, like. There's about Dude, we can, there's there's a solid ten guys. That I mean, say there's those last four spots. There's a dozen privateers guys or privateer ish guys that are those last four spots until people start to drop off, which I don't know that we're gonna really see here. So um, uh-huh. maybe I mean, obviously AC went out last night, so that was one. Um, but who knows what Savachi. the hell? Yeah. Oh yeah, Savachi too. Yeah, that's right. I forgot to talk about him. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's a situation, too, that I've already filled in for those guys. So, like, I just need to get my ass in the main event and then start doing a little bit better, and maybe that's an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, too, trust me. If you make the main next week, the first place I'm stopping on my way out of that, out of that stadium is, is the RM truck to be like, hey, you boys need somebody to ride that bike or what? Yeah, so, exactly. Because he's racing without an ACL anyway, so – and I don't know what happened yeah. last night. If he – do you know do you know oh, what he, he – he, yeah, he's getting his knee fixed. He already said he said he's done. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Yep, okay. So he is done. Um, did you yep. uh, did you happen to see the uh, the Barsha on Bogle and then the Bogle on Barsha crime last uh, night? Dude, I've already I've already hit up several people uh, that are close to either program. I want to see what happened between Barsha to Bogle because yes, everybody saw on TV. The Bogle to Barsha, but I want to see what happened originally. I heard, so I was listening to Steve's post race interview and he was talking to uh-huh. Bogle, and you could just tell Bogle was pissed. Like, normally he's, he's not like a real, like, yeah, yeah, yeah guy, but like he's chipper when he talks. There was no chipperness yeah. last night. He was fucking pissed. And I guess it was, from what they said, it was a fucking hate crime on <laughs> Bogle, like what he did to him. Um, and then oh, I can only imagine, dude. Well, and the funny thing to me is, so I'm watching the race last night, and it's late here in Michigan, right? Because I'm on the East Coast, and uh, fucking Ricky makes that comment on the broadcast about like Bogle stalling his bike, and that's what caused him to run into into Barsha there. And my dumb ass in my, I guess, a coma of right before I'm going to bed is just like, oh yeah, that's probably what happened. And then today I'm thinking about, I'm like, that, he dumb fuck. He rides a Suzuki. He doesn't have electric start. He could not stall it and restart it without putting his foot down and getting a Kickstarter out. So, yeah, that was, uh, that's wild that that, because <laughs> he straight up, and the best part is, is like, he straight up planted Barsha and then Barsha didn't do anything. He just got up and kept going. So, this is, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I was trying to locate the video before I started recording too to see, if anybody had Barsha just cleaning him out, I'm expecting a, a Breeze seven deuce deuce uh, uh, style takeout there. Yeah, dude, I, that's what I, <laughs> oh, I want to see it so bad because yeah, there's no way that I honestly didn't even think about the whole electric star situation. Like that's funny how you pointed that out. <laughs> well, dude, I, like I said, it's by the time I'm watching the race here, it's, you know, almost one o'clock in the morning, which is way past my old ass's bedtime. And so when Ricky said that on the broadcast, I was just like, oh, yeah, because in my mind, every bike now has electric start. So if you stall like that, oh, yeah, you just push the button and it starts. and You don't even have to put your feet down if you're still rolling. But he doesn't have that. So I don't know. Wild, wild shit. Um Anything else you noticed? Did you watch the race last night or did you do you like when you don't make the main, do you just take off from the stadium, get packed up and take uh, off? I just, or? I just start packing up and then like I'll catch because like obviously it's on Peacock. So a lot of people have that stuff and, you know, the race is playing on TV uh, and people's pits and whatnot. So I'd glance over every once in a while while I'm getting all my stuff uh, ready to go for the next weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool, man. Um, well, I guess anything else, man. I, I, when we talk every week, it's like I don't have t- 
tons of stuff to be like, oh yeah, by the way. So uh <laughs> it's all good i know it's a lot easier with other people in the room with you too yeah that's the other thing too is like those boneheads usually at least come up with a couple of questions to to ask or whatever so it's like i'm just i'm i'm spitballing here um but yeah no that's uh that's interesting though too with savachi being done for the year so yeah there definitely could be a thing we got to get you we need to get you in a main here bro here's what i need you to do oh, okay i need you to i'm I need you to call Chiz and I need you to be like, Chiz, I just need you to tell me how to do what you do because <laughs> Chiz is just the most ridiculously consistent fucking privateer dude I've ever seen in my life. Like, yeah, like that guy is unbelievable. I mean, like, dude, like last night he's 17th and he started and at one point he was like 22nd because I had him on my yeah. fantasy team. So I was watching and then boom, he just, you know, goes there. So, um, Giveaways this week? We got giveaways going on? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you see that, by the way? You you're, you won. Oh, I won something? No, no, I didn't. Sorry. Yeah. It's been a little hectic around here the last few weeks, so no, I did not see that. Uh, I won. Yeah, we got the... <laughs> oh, God. If you're a patron, which, you know, you are, Yeah. Um, uh, we do the giveaway, the charity sign number play giveaway every single weekend. And the signed Oakley goggle giveaway. And you walked away with the uh, signed Cherubis front number plate this weekend. Sweet. So I got another front number plate. Well, don't worry. Yes, indeed. I will probably, honestly, I will probably pay it forward. I will probably just give it away to somebody else, honestly, for something. Because we obviously I already like have them. So. Well, I mean, you don't have a 57 one, but I like it. Oh, that's true, too. I could, well, yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. I don't know because it is a different number to go on the wall. So um, how might yeah, yeah? Well, okay. you are you are a patron, and you're going to be in this giveaway every single weekend. So you could probably <laughs> end up walking away with another one. Well, hey man, I mean, if I did, <laughs> this almost doesn't seem fair. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should just give the damn thing away anyway, because it's like if I really needed one, I could call you and be like, "Hey, bro, can I can I get one of those?" <laughs> and you would yeah. be like, "Yep, no problem." So, so yeah, we probably we probably should pass that on. So, I mean, I'll tell you what, dude, just just pass it on. I'll get one at the end of the year. I don't need this. Just just do do a redraw. Say, look, he he's he he's good. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just let's just pay that forward man like i said at, at the end of the year yes i would like a 57 to go on the wall too but for right now let's just keep let's just keep paying it forward to people man i like it so um yeah and they can uh they can join that because you also have the uh the pit bike giveaway you're doing too so yeah dude there's all sorts of giveaways so you get the uh oakley goggles and a chair beast front number plate every single weekend and then as long as you're a patreon every single month you get x amount of entries depending on what tier you're at that uh, all go towards the pit bike in the season so if you guys want to join that uh just hit uh just search kevinmorans.com so website hit join rans racing tab uh join rans mafia whatever you want to call it and you just join as a fan and it takes you right to uh all the levels and you get your name on the race bike if you want it so a uh, bunch of cool little benefits so all goes back to the private tier program so i appreciate you guys appreciate your guys support Hell yeah. Oh, but speaking of stuff that I wanted, though, I did want a hat for Justin. <laughs> if you still got Boy. one of those, one of those maroon uh, Moran's hats. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. hundred percent. I just, I've never texted the address. So like no big deal. I've got 67 yeah. packages sitting here to send out to people too. So yeah, yeah, it's, you a, know how it is. yeah it's a mess. I mean, today I installed a, uh, I installed a new mini split unit in, uh, in the shop here. So, you know, it's, uh, yeah, and I've got the addition going, so I've got insulation to do that. So I've got tons of stuff outside of my shop is full of parts, you know, because it's the busiest nice. time of the year for me. So yeah, so it's, you know how it is. It's uh, it's wild, and then we've got to do all these shows all week too. So it's uh, yeah. it's it's a never never ending thing. On the positive note, everyone in my family seems to be better now because we have all had different sicknesses. So. Everyone seems to be on the up and up from everything. My congestion's finally going away. I don't know if you have had this yet, Kev, or any sort of any of the crud that's going around, but it's been like since Christmas that I've been basically congested, coughing, and, and a stuffy nose. So it's it's finally almost back to normal. <laughs> yeah. Fun. Yeah. How is the how's the situation in the pits there, man? Is there uh 
because obviously we hear with the ride this is this is actually i'm pretty pumped i just thought of this uh there obviously we hear of the um uh the riders that don't get to ride because of covid protocols but are we seeing are you seeing a lot of uh like mechanics and, and industry people uh that are getting popped there through the pits or what, what's the deal uh, with that to an extent but like the the biggest thing is honestly like it, it feels like it's back to normal when it comes to fans how many people are in the pits like it, it it's way better than it was last year but yeah dude it's it, that, it's always a sketchy situation hmm Interesting. Yeah. Cause I, like I said, I, we hear the riders. I mean, obviously we heard Brayton Oldenburg didn't ride cause his kids were sick. Um, who was popped the first week? Was it uh starling and somebody, no Robin. I don't remember. A Co- yeah, couple Robin. dudes the first week there. So like we've yeah. seen it, we've seen it start to pop up. Um, but you know, but obviously we don't hear mechanic tire guys, truck drivers, you know, all that kind of crap, man, friends, whatever you want to call them start popping yeah. up and seeing so who knows and and as we all know this new new variant runs runs rampant it's getting everybody so yeah that's what, no joke so whatever so yeah well maybe we'll see you in minneapolis but it sounds like the minneapolis rules are getting more strict by the day so i'm nervous if i'm going or not oh boy that's super fun yeah yeah so i don't know i i've been talking to isaac trying to figure that one out because we have tickets to go but uh Uh, i don't know if we are or not (laughs) it's a very fluid situation well yeah keep me in loop well let me let me tell you this if i don't go there i will be in dallas the next week so um sweet that's that's my plan the flights are coming down a little bit in fact the flight i looked up the first time i had to sit in the back of the plane for 750 bucks and then yesterday i could fly like first class for like 850 bucks i was like oh all right sweet this works well yeah so needless to say we're either way we'll be at some races because we are definitely still on the on the map (laughs) for indy detroit and uh st louis so yeah so we'll be at some, don't you, don't you worry. It's just the, are we going to be at Minneapolis or am I going to be at Dallas? I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. So, um, but other than that, man, thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. Our weekly, our weekly Kevin Moran's privateer update. So hopefully we have a, uh, have a good week here with training and stuff. And, uh, we can see you actually put it in the main this week. Cause, uh, yeah, I want to, want to watch you on the last race of the night, man. Yeah. No joke. <laughs> <laughs> but Hey, whatever, man. First 450 year. I'm not I'm not fucking cutting you down. Don't don't think this is hating <laughs> over here. You know it's all yeah, love, baby. It's all love. Hey, we'll get there. Don't you worry. I know. I know. Hey, I'm not worried at all. So, all right, man. Well, thank you. Have a good week, man. I'm sure I'll talk to you at some point this week, but uh if not before, we will chat next week after Anaheim 2. All right. Sounds like a plan, my man. All right. Thanks, buddy. Later. <laughs>